Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. I am the World's Address. We are playing My Time at Porsche in our very nice living room. So let's get started. Today, we're going to work on finishing that bridge tower. But we're also going to work on a couple of relationships here in town. So... I want to build my relationships with Ak, Antoine, and Emily. Those are the three that I think I could benefit the most from, and those are the three that I like the most, regardless. Hey, there we go. Finally got copper ore and uh, copper iron and aluminum. Wonderful. What you got? I'd like to let you know that we've decided to start the upgrade of the Porsche Harbor with the help of Mr. Musa, the chairman and founder of Musa Investments. I've appointed Mint as the project manager and ANG Construction to build this project. Our goal is to allow our port to be able to receive larger ships. I cannot wait to see the result of this. Please talk with Mint. He'll have many orders for you. Alright, never mind. We were going to build some relationships. Uh, now it seems like we're going to get immediately to work on the harbor. I'm perfectly fine with that. But, I do want to work on relationships kind of in the downtime. So, we'll work on that too. I've done a little bit of um, research. And I know that Ak likes copper coils. Uh, and by like, I mean love. Because there, there are the three different, uh, you know like, or love, like, dislike, and hate, I think is what they are. Uh, and Ak loves copper coils. Antoine and Emily both love fruit salad, and Emily also loves pumpkin pie. Uh, what am I building again? Bridge tower. That's what I thought. Am I missing it? Is it on this side? Ah, yes. Thank you. Steel plate, hardened clay. Yeah. Build, please. Oh, sorry. Let's see what we've got going on. Steel plate, hardened clay, hardened clay I've got all of. Um, st strengthened glass, I have all of. Okay, cool, so I'm just waiting on steel plates then. All right, awesome. Let's go talk to, um... Hmm, we could talk to Emily. Think. Yep. Cool. So I've got... I've got a thing opened right here um, that I can take a peek at to make sure that I'm giving people what they like. Because I would very much... Uh, yeah, salad dressing. I would very much like to... Um, you know, pursue relationships in here, in this game, because, like, you know, fun. It's the one portion of the game that I've done nothing about. You know, I've got a, I've got a very nice workshop, despite, <clears throat> despite not using everything uh, that, that you can. Like, despite not using the um, the flooring and stuff like that, I've got a really good workshop. Um, the uh, the conductive flooring, which I've gotten a couple of comments on, but I don't know, I. I seem to be doing just fine without it, and it seems to me that at this point, like, until I expand one more time and, and really section things off into their own little zones, having another machine, another uh, rather large machine is what it looks like, too, having to have, like, a couple of those to power all that I've got, that's going to be just, like, a waste of space. So I've decided to forego the conductive flooring... And the, the fire, uh, the, what was it? Um, 
the generator. The flame-powered generator, fire-powered generator, I think is what it was. I've decided to forego those and just kind of do what I'm doing. Hi, Emily, would you like this? You would. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, I've got a couple of arrows going on here. Oh, is Mint already... Okay, he's already there at the harbor. All right, well, let's go down to the harbor. Also, do I have that... Uh, I do. I'm going to have to drop off this DD stop way the heck up here at some point, too. Hmm. Okay. Let's go here first. This, uh, this day in the game is going to be a little bit of... I don't know, doing... A, that's a weird place for the camera. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm sorry, Wuwa. I just need to get this out of the way. Um, it's going to be a weird sort of all over the place day. As I've got a lot of things I want to do and a lot of things that I want to accomplish. Ah, good day, Azrak. For once, Gale finally gave me a project with decent funding. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Albert and I have already drawn up the plans for this port. We'd like to add a lighthouse, a warehouse area, and upgrade the wharf for starters. There's a lot of work to be done. Talk with him. He's handing out the commissions. Righto, why don't you take the lighthouse for a start? For that, I'll need you to build a light source. Think you can handle that? Yeah, why not? Since we haven't built in a lighthouse in this area before, you'll need to talk with the research center, because of course we will. Okay. Well, we should go to the research center first, then. Mm, do I have... Yeah, I got 32 of them. She never asks for more than, like, five. Ooh, well, where are you? What are you doing, buddy? He just kind of runs from the water... To oh whoops huh weird All right we'll take the DD stop right there into town I mean it makes sense for the DD stop to be here and not where it was because they can run in that door hit it go back and around and out it used to be up there and I kind of always wondered how they actually got there. Not that realism needs to be, like, fully uh, recognized in a place where one of the characters is a giant bear. But still. Hey, Petra. A light source for the lighthouse? This sounds complicated since it needs to pulse. I haven't really worked with lights before, so this should be fun. I'll get started right away. Why don't you bring me five data disks? Why don't you take five data disks? Thank you. That should be enough. I'll let you know once I have something. So, tomorrow. Cool. I don't have to worry about that, you know, for another day. So, next we should get as close to that uh, DD stop as we can. So, let's do that. Uh, this one? I think we can go... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Then we're going to go back home. We're going to get the copper coils... We're going to find Ak, and we're going to give him a copper coil. And we're going to give him a copper coil a day, every day. Um, same with... <clears throat> excuse me. Same with either fruit salad or uh, pumpkin pie with Emily and Antoine. We're going to give them a pumpkin pie or a fruit salad every day, which means I need to mass produce fruit salads, which means I need to buy a bunch of salad dressing or make salad dressing. I think you can make salad dressing, can't you? Uh, the item catalog, parts, food. Yeah, in the blender. I wish it told you. It just tells me that I can make it. Okay, so I'll make some salad dressing in the blender. I really wish some of these older uh, dungeons could be re-entered. Like, especially this one. This is a whole giant space that... I know we've done the dungeon, and, and it was fun, and I, you know, enjoyed it. That's where the Rat King was. He was the first really difficult boss in the game, for me, at least. He 
He took more than more than two tries. Like he really he soundly whipped my butt. That's for sure. But uh, I would like to I'd like to go back in there, you know, in there and in the uh, in the cave on that island. I'm really hoping that that they come back up in the story or something like that. I don't know. And place this DD stop. For the life of me, I can't figure out why this DD stop is here. You know? Okay. Um. Going back home, I think. <clears throat> like, it doesn't make sense to be out there. There's nothing there. Like, there's literally not a thing. So, I'm... I'm super curious as to what they plan on putting in there. Oh, good. I got more pigments. That's egg and sugar. Okay, let's go get some sugar before the farm store closes, because it's the only place you can get it. I don't think you can make sugar on your own. It's uh, uh, definitely a thing that you could do with the drying rack. Or the blender. I, I mean, I could see it being used, be either one of them being used, to be honest. All right. Um, sugar? Yeah. Um, let's do 100. Confirm. Cool. Let's do also 100. Cool. What else are we going to need? The, um... I'm really... In, I'm, I'm, I've been digging on the music in the games I've been playing here lately. Uh, and this game is, of course, no exception. The music is great. It's very understated when you're just running around doing your stuff, but that doesn't make it any less awesome. So Emily is desiring something. Let's see what it is. It's probably fruit salad. Hi, Emily. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I really want to eat an order of fruit salad. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure, hold on. Give me a minute, give me a second. I'll go get you some fruit salad, I don't care. After I pick up this poop. I'm going to pick up that poop, and then I'm going to go make you some fruit salad. <laughs> hey, Albert. What's with your hat, buddy? Oh, is that the product of me asking people about his style and them saying that it's crap? You... Oh, Albert, you poor, poor fool. That hat is doing nothing for you. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> Oh I, feel, oh, I feel bad for laughing at him, but it's a ridiculous hat. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Five more, and I'll have the last one. So, there we go. That's bridge tower number two. Oh, um, crystals. I'll take that. These crystal trees are definitely going to be helpful at some point or another. I mean, they get sapphires. Most people, uh, looking at this list, most people like sapphires. At least like them. So, you know, once again, the difference between like and love is, is a, a like five points or something like that. But, like, most people like them. So, that's something. Good night. I got 350. It's crazy. Okay, time to make a ton of salad dressing. Or salad sauce. Wow, that used all of my eggs. That used a lot of eggs, man. Like, that was a that was a lot of eggs. Okay. Um. So if I like. I wish you could just...
do that, but okay. Uh, add ingredient. Add ingredient. Add ingredient. Boom, chaka boom, chaka boom, 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 bum, bum, bum. You don't boil fruit salad, do, do, do. <laughs> uh, finish cooking and fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Boy, they stay down there the whole time, don't they? Okay, let's see if I can find Emily real, real quick. Yes! Oh, good, 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 good. She hasn't gone inside yet. Uh, there you are. Excuse me. Hi, Emily. Oh, I guess you, you have to give it to her as the gift. And then it... Okay, well, I'll give it to her tomorrow. She probably will still want it tomorrow. Where does Emily live? Does she live in Sophie's Ranch, or does she live in McDonald's house? Or does she live up there in the, um, uh, windmill? That would be cool. I'd live up there. Okay, yeah, she lives in the, in here. So that's McDonald's house. He's got a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And then Sophie and Emily, I guess, live in there. I like that this is a door with, a, like, a, an electronic lock on it. And it just doesn't go anywhere. All right, well, let's get back to the house. There's that watermelon again. Let's get back to the house and see if, um... Uh, just make more fruit salads. Uh, like I said, both Antoine and Emily like them. So, we're going to need a lot. And I've got 18 of those at 10 apiece. That's 180 friendship points from Ak. He also likes... Ste uh, what's that? Iron Pots? I mean, I could make a bunch of copper coils. I'm not gonna, but I could. Well, I mean, I could make, I could make a few. But he also likes the iron pans. Or he loves iron pans. And then he likes the various, various other things. Old parts, milk, which is weird. Lubricant. Fry, uh, saucepans, stuff like that. And the gems. Everybody likes the gems. And by gems, I mean the, the sapphire, ruby, and, uh, what is it? Garnet, I think. Mm, excuse me. Sorry about that. All right, so. Oh, God. Excuse me. It seems to have gotten the sneezes for a moment there. All right. That's probably because this fan is blowing right on me. There we go. So, let's get back to making... some fruit salads. I'm trying to figure out who else would be fun to talk to. But, I mean, really and truly, if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna have a relationship with anybody in the game at this point... And, and by relationship, I mean date and marry. Like, not just, like, a friendship, not just a, a whatever... When I say relationship, I mean date and marry. It's going to be either Antoine or Emily. They're the two that I like the most, character-wise. Like, Emily is always fun. Like, she's also another farmer, and that's cool. I'm not even basing it off of, like, what I'll get out of their relationships. Just strictly in terms of the two characters that I enjoy the most, they're Antoine and Emily. So... I'm gonna figure out who... you know, who I'm gonna go with, and then go from there. And then I'm gonna befriend Ak, because he does stuff for you. Like, he'll... 
like tend your your stuff and brings you gifts, I think. So I obviously want that. This will give me quite a few fruit salads for now. <clears throat> uh, oh, I'll have seven. Seven fruit salads. Oh, that was a little, uh, sound effects were a little bit early there. It is getting late. Let's go to bed. Anything going on? First thing in the morning, I'll finish building. Oh, uh, I can still turn them in. I can still turn them in. By first thing in the morning, I mean right the heck now. Run! Awesome. That's all three bridge, bridge towers. First thing in the morning, I'll turn that into Antoine with a side of fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Okay, go to sleep. All right. So, probably going to get a diagram for the lighthouse. Or at least the light. I don't know. Oh, um, you know, before we go and check, let's go ahead and pet everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Aw. Y'all are the best. You go okay, so they max out at 120%. Yeah, they're fine. And they give me an egg apiece. These guys seem to max at about 120% as well. 116. I don't know, maybe things are different for different animals. Because he's at 121%. And their food is... They're fine. They've still got a bunch of food. Let me pick up this poop. Always necessary. I think it's weird that there are four animals there, but only... Uh, one poop. Ah. Okay, check. Research Center. After some help from the director, we were able to improvise a light beacon. The diagram is attached. Like I said before, it's kind of complicated to build. Good luck. Thank you. And from Albert, just a heads up, we've posted and will continue to post commissions for construction materials for the harbor and the Commerce Guild for the duration of this project. Please take a look when you have the time, and I don't know if I can right now, but... Is that you, Emily? Oh, I was like, where did she go? Hey! Okay. Have some fruit salad. Aw, sweet. Oh, and she, uh, she gave me some apple juice. So let's take a look at something here. H. Oh, good. Got it right. So Emily is my buddy at present, which is great. She's up to the point, yeah. So her preferences, she loves fruit salad and pumpkin pie. I don't know, and I mean, I have the rest of the stuff that she likes as well. But as a wife, she, I'll receive help with domestic work and resource gathering, and she'll, I'll also receive a 25% discount at Emily's food stall. But that only seems to come around, and I mean, if I'm missing this, somebody please let me know. I get a lot of awesome comments from people that either play this game themselves or watch other people play. But I only ever see Emily's fruits food stall during that time of the year where they make the big hot pot. So... If I'm missing something, if she, if she like, comes across on a day that maybe I'm not, like, coming into town, um, 
let me know. Oh, here. Have a fruit salad. You're welcome, Antoine. And there's another 18,000. I mean... Okay. Oh, I think I have that. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Em. Oh, poop on you and your one commission at a time. Oh, it's one commission and then you finish it. Now, I'm... Oh, Igneous Brick. Okay. I know I've got some Igneous Rocks. I need to work on a couple of things at once. All right, let's make it in through here. Um, I think igneous bricks are made... Uh, you. We'll make them in the tin alloy one. Hmm, maybe not. Hold on. Alright, let's go slow. Hmm... Um, yes. Okay. All right. There we go. Igneous bricks are on the march. Okay. So we've taken all of those. We're going to go ahead and uh, take everything away. Nose itches. Because holy cow, we've got a lot going on here. Let's take a peek and see what we need for a light beacon real quick. That's a navigation light. Uh, aluminum plate, strength in glass. Oh. Well, that's it? I think I've got the vast majority of this stuff. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, let's make some more aluminum plates, but whatever. Okay, sorry, right now I don't need steel plate, so... I don't know, let's make 10 of them. There you go. I'm making all 15 of these because I saw that there's another one. And I'm actually going to dump all of this stuff real quick and then bounce back up there to go get some more. So, strength and glass, I'll need more of. Advanced engine, I need one of. Aluminum plates, I need eight of, of which I have six. Now let's check, because I'm not 100% certain. This one, yeah. Oh, yeah. And tons of tempering liquid. I mean, really. I've got this on lockdown. We should be fine. There shouldn't be any problems whatsoever with, um, with doing stuff. Now, uh, I realize that these aren't... This isn't where these things go, but I need them out of my way for right now. Oh, um, let's make our rounds. Uh, I gave Antoine a thing. I gave Emily a thing. Now, Ack ought to be... Yep. Hey, buddy. Look at you. Making awesome stuff. Have a gift. I like it. You're very nice. Why, thank you, Ack. I hope that very soon we can become awesome friends. It doesn't tell you, like, how many points you have to get uh, to up relationships, but, like, Antoine is a very close to becoming my friend. Ack, however, despite the fact, alright, despite the fact that we've done quite a bit for him, like, we made all of his stuff for him, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> he should, he should, I feel like he ought to be farther along. I understand that that's not how 
the game mechanics work. I get it. However, I feel like he ought to be farther along than that. All right. Refined bars all go in here. Sort. Okay. Refined materials all go in here. That's one. I'm going to hold on to this. That goes in there. That and that. Sort. Throw the raw ore. Which is great. I now get raw ore every day. I'm very, very happy about that. Raw mining. Sort. Um, foodstuffs, sort, I don't know, like that, I guess, that, that'll work, okay, um, gonna hold on to these, that goes in there, yeah, apple juice, I like apple juice, from trees, boop, 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 sort, and raw hunting. Um, oh, food stuff. This goes in there as well. I have 583 pieces of meat, by the way. That's an enormous amount. Just throwing that out there. Boop. Mm. It's time to make sure that everything is fertilized. Wonderful. That way everything stays fertilized throughout. Oh, cool. I can harvest more apricots. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Don't do that. I think it's ridiculous. I have 371 apricots, and I've only got two apricot trees. I think I've only ever had two apricot trees. I'm just not using them as much. They're perfect for feeding. So that's kind of what I've been doing with them. But beyond that, I'm really not using the apricots a whole heck of a lot. Okay. While we've got some time, let's go... Let's go get those igneous rocks. There's nothing else over there. Um, here... Yes. Okay, we'll go get the igneous rocks. And... Just as many as we can get, apparently. Also, I did, um... I did learn from a comment that I can get that hat. I just have to donate five things to the, uh... uh to the museum. And, um then I can get a hat. So I can get that the magic bunny hat. And I probably will do that here pretty soon too. Because I super want that magic bunny hat. It looks like the coolest hat in the game. I don't think it's going to be any better than the hat that I'm wearing. And I also don't think that I care. <laughs> hey Arlo. What are you doing out here buddy? If you find a new ruins opening, be sure oh. to let us know. The civil cause will compensate you well for your efforts. Look at that. Arlo, uh, Arlo was like a point away from being my associate. Nice. Alright. Let's hit up the pickaxe. Now, I've read something about these igneous rocks, and I don't know if it's true, but I, uh, I did read it on Reddit, I think, um, that they only respawn once a week. Now, I don't know if that's true. But it could be. I guess. I, I don't know. 
but somebody said that they only respawn once a week, so there's no point in not getting all of them, I guess, because I'll, I'll need all of these pieces. I don't remember. I didn't look to see how many pieces it took to make a brick. It's probably three to five. That's typically how about, about how many it takes. <coughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and just snag all of them while I'm here. I've got time in the day. Oh, not that I got right up on it. I have time, and they're all pretty much located in the same spot, really. They're not spread out or anything. Anything cool up here? Like a treasure chest or something? Yeah, there's a lot of wide open space over there and another tower. I bet you that's going to be something. I've said it before, I'm sure, but I am constantly impressed by how well the developer is, is doing with this game. Um, I'm constantly impressed by how much content is being put out, how timely the updates are. Like, they're, they're pretty pretty quick on, on updates. They're constantly putting out stuff. They're constantly communicating with uh, their fan base. Um, they really are just... They're on top of it for this game. I... Mm, let's see. I think I have one of their other games. And it wasn't for me. But, I mean, that's just, not every game is going to be, whatever. It's a good game. I think it's Planet Explorers. Um, it's a good game. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me. I, you know, meh. But, that doesn't mean it's not a good game. That doesn't mean it's not a good publisher. I definitely uh, am glad that they've made this game, because it is truly amazing. I don't think it gets nearly enough um, I don't think it's gotten nearly enough uh, what's the word? I'm, I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for now. Oh, cinnamon. Fun. It's not gotten nearly enough praise I guess in the in like various I guess they wouldn't be uh, regular publications, it'd be online publications. But you don't really see a lot about this game on on the various video game uh, websites. Or I haven't, at least. And I'm trying to stay semi-current so that I can see what games are upcoming, so that I know what game, you know, so that I know which games I want to put up on my channel. Right now I'm kind of doing a lot of shots in the dark. Because they're games that look like they're fun and, and stuff like that, but I haven't really read a lot on them. But I'm also, I'm, I'm kind of biding my time because there are a couple of games that are coming out a little bit later this year that I am very, very excited for. And I'm just waiting for them to come out and I'm kind of, I'm doing some, I don't know, trying, trying stuff out, trying out new things, things that are a little bit different things that are a little bit the same. So if if you end up, you know, if you're wondering why a lot of the games that I've been playing lately are sort of a little bit off or I've been putting out a bunch of new new to the channel games the past couple of days, it's just cuz I'm looking for something. I'm I'm trying to find stuff that is going to be fun and that I'll enjoy, but is also maybe a little bit different from uh, from some of the content that I'm putting out. I do, apparently, do a lot of, like, farming-type games, <laughs> or have done, and so I'm also very excited for a bunch of farming-type games that are coming out. Uh, most notably, I am so very, very excited for Ooblets, which, if you haven't looked into that... Um, by all means, do check it out. It looks like it's going to be great. It looks like it's going to, uh, I mean, really, like like they've said on on their Twitter and and everything. If you if you're looking for something that's going to scratch that Harvest Moon uh, slash Pokemon itch, that's Ooblets. You basically you have a farm in this really cool town. It's a very awesome um, art style, very stylized. But you've got a farm where you grow 
Pokemon-like creatures in your in your garden from from uh, stylized seeds, and then they follow you around and have dance battles with other trainers. We'll go ahead and call them trainers, I guess. But yeah, I'm I'm so excited for that game. I think it's gonna it's gonna be really really great. Everything that I've read about it, everything that I've watched about it so far looks really awesome. Who are you? Hi. Did you know that back in the old world they used to game on something called a video game console? I've never seen one, but supposedly you can become another person on it. I want one. Who's sent? Oh, I met him before, haven't I? Yeah, I think so. I remember that. But yeah, there are a lot of games coming out that I'm very excited for. And I'm kind of biding my time until they come out. Um, I'm going to keep playing the games that I'm playing right now. Obviously, my time at Porsche isn't going anywhere. I'm, I'll am play this game for forever. They're, you know, as, as long as they're still putting out content, I'm going to still be playing this game. Um, I may take breaks here and there to focus on some different games, but this game is is on my playlist for the foreseeable future. Um, Starbound is going to stay on my playlist. I enjoy it. It's not nearly as popular, it seems, on the channel as this, but I, I really like Starbound, so I'm going to continue to play that one as well. Um... And then, really, the vast majority of other games are... They're up in the air. It could go either way. Oh, uh... My fuel is depleted. I forgot about that. I'm gonna let these run out now. And then change them up to other things. But, um, yeah, there's, there's change coming eventually. Um, new games are going to come out. I'll cycle in some of those to, to make room. You know, I'll cycle out some games that, you know, that are, you know, whatever. If they're not doing well, though, I'm going to be honest, like, I am so very, very appreciative of all of the views and, and the subscribers that I've been getting. Um, it's really great. Uh, the month of June, just for a little, I don't know, behind the scenes or whatever, the month of June for me was the best month that this channel has ever had. And I realized that I've only, I've only been out, I've only been doing it for about a year and a half, and really and truly, I've only been putting in a, a good amount of work on this channel for the past six months. But the month of June was phenomenal in terms of growth. It was amazing, and I am just completely... Uh, I don't know, speechless about the whole thing. It was great. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, I can reach more people, that more people start coming to the channel, because I think I've got... I I like the games I'm playing, and, I, and it seems that people are liking the way that I'm playing them, so that's something. And, you know, I'm hoping to to keep, keep growing, because I'm having fun. <laughs> and... To be honest, like, for me, it doesn't matter as much if the game does well. It matters if I'm having fun. And if people are reacting, like, if I'm playing a game that people actively do not like, obviously I'm not going to try and keep that going, because that's... That's counterproductive. But... I mean, at present, I'm really enjoying all of the games that I'm playing, and it seems like everybody else is enjoying them as well. So, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna need more glass. Let's kill one of these charcoals. Okay, 
Pencil. Yes. Nope. Yes. How do I only have 87 stone? Wait, really? Huh. Okay. How did that happen? I must have sold... Oh, no, no, no. I, t I, I built, like, a ton of stone stools that I need to get rid of. Okay, so we're making the strengthened glass, and I need to make a waterproof lamp. Real quick, let's see if I can do that. It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Or not... I think it's in here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, then let's make all the strength and glass that I can right now. Confirm. Drop it. Boom. Confirm. Whoa. That was fun. Oh, it's two of them. Poops. Idea. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Let's craft another one. Uh, you know what? I may as well craft another two. Because I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be making another navigation light. So, kind of may as well, I guess, right? Strength and glass, glass, and advanced engine. It is getting late, and I know, I know, I need to get some rest. And I'm gonna. I promise. It's regular glass. Um... As soon as I... As soon as I snag this, put this in there, I will go get some rest. Cool. All right. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, tell your friends, tell your family. Bring them all along. Um, the more the merrier, really. I really appreciate all of you. Um... It's, uh, you know, to have, to have the following that I do have, as small as it may be, is awesome. You guys are the best. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye.